Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Hope you're all doing good, guys. Hope you're all well. It's Monday, so that means it's Build the Titanic from Ashit Parkworks, issue 37. Guys, if you're not already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and give us a big like after the video. If you're already subscribed, a big thank you. Really appreciate all your support. But without further ado, guys, let's crack on with this week's Titanic build from Ashit Parkworks, issue 37. So let's crack on with what we usually do. Take a look through this week's magazine of the Titanic build from Ashit Parkworks, issue 37. I'm learning not to talk now while I do that because I know you can't hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> but right, let's have a look through. I might as well move this coffee because I've nearly drunk it. So I'm going to move that to one side. And let's have a look through this week's mag. Coming in next week's issue, we've got printed circuit board with PCB switch for testing the motor, plus USB-C to USB-A cable and screws. Now, that might not seem interesting, just a wire and a circuit board, but I'm hoping we might be testing the motors, guys. We might be seeing if the engines actually move, which I'm really looking forward to. That's gonna be fun, but at the same time stressful, because I hope the engines work. But we'll come to that next week but yeah that's next week anyway guys so i think all next week's gonna be is maybe just running the engines so it might be a quick one next week but really fun guys and really exciting all right so yeah you've got the usual content you get in these magazines titanic the blockbuster yeah i remember seeing that when it was in the cinema showing me age now there it is titanic i went to see that with my wife now wife was dating at that time, been with her for two years. Went to see that in the cinema, went and seen it twice if I remember right. But anyway, back to the um, parts we got in this issue. As you know guys, don't open this until I do it on film for you. So, get the reaction at the same time as you guys do. Right. Usually packed good, all sealed, which I find amazing to be there. I think that's pretty cool to be fair. It just shows you it's a prestige model. They're really looking after the parts. So what we'll do, and you know you're gonna get good parts. Hey, look at that. We've got a motor, guys. <laughs> this is cool. And we've got this part. I will go through what they're called in a minute. That's plastic. And guys, I do know there are other YouTubers who are doing this build, and there may be four stages ahead of me. For you guys who are sticking with me and coming along for the journey with me, do really appreciate it. Please keep watching, even if you're not subscribed. But if you're not subscribed, what you're playing at? I'm joking. <laughs> Subscribe, guys. Please, I would really appreciate that. And if you know me by now, if you've watched all my videos, you know I'm joking about there when I said that. I'm not bossy or anything like that. It's just me. It's my personality. Right, we've got another, looks like a rod here of some sort, that's metal. Got a bit of fun in it, guys. Right, we've got another part here which is plastic. Right, so let's have a look what parts and what parts are these called. First of all, we've got 37A, which is the motor. Right, so I'll put them to one side and come back to them in a sec when we need them. We've got 37B, um, which is this one. I was going to show you both at the same time, and I can do 37B and 37C. So that is 37B, which is the motor housing, like plastic. And then you've got 37C, which is the base, which again, that's plastic. 
put that to one side. And then you've got 37D, the turbine shaft, which you can see, I think, on the video, as metal that is. And the screws we've got today are nine AP screws. Right, so what it's telling us to do in instruction one is take the motor 37A, which is here. So yeah, we've got the motor, which is 37A, and then what it's saying is take the gearbox from issue 35, which if you're regular to the channel guys, you would have seen that a couple of weeks ago. That's that. It's all, all screwed together and all the motors and the cogs are in there. We had to grease all that, etc. But take a look at the video guys if you're interested in watching how that was built. Um, and then the shaft for the motor has to be fitted into the socket of the cog at the top of the gearbox cover. Right, so we've got to get 37D, which is this part here. And here you can see it's like a, a flat ended piece. You can see that on the, I'm just zoom that in. Don't want to zoom in. This far, there we go. You can see that. So it will only go in one way into that D shape hole. And what it's telling us to do is push that in, which is easy enough. And then that should turn left and right. And it does. Let's turn the other cogs as well. Right, so that's that done. And if we've redone, you'll need to rotate the socket so that the D shape can be aligned with the shaft of the motor. Okay. To do this, use the 37D to rotate the cog at the bottom right hand of the corner left. Right, which is what we were just doing. So now it's telling us to, do, to turn it so we can line up this other cog here to put the motor, the gearbox, the motor should I say, 37A. So in the instructions, it's telling us, if you can just see that cog in there, you've got the flat part of the D shape. It wants that to be in that position, like so. So not around there. It wants it to be about there. If this camera wants to play, this phone is really getting on my nerves today. There we go, zooming in. Right, okay, zooming in there for some reason. And then what it's saying to do is make sure Make sure this is the right way around first. You've got to have the red cable on the left and the black on the right. And by rights, this should easily slot into place into the position where it needs to be. And I think if you turn it, there you go. If it doesn't go in, guys, just turn that crank cog and it will push in to those slats around the, the motor. It won't go in otherwise. As you see, it dropped in soon as I just twisted that a little bit. And that is all instruction one done. Just one more thing, guys, like I've just said earlier in this clip, make sure you've got the red wire on the left and the black wire, um, wire on the right. right. So let's turn the page over. Now, instruction two, ensure the motor is fully inserted into the recess in the gearbox, which we've just done that. Unwind the cable and thread the end into the motor housing, which is this part here. So basically, the red and black wires are going to go through there and come out here. So what we'll do is we'll untie this wiring. Do you know what? I'm really excited for next week, guys, if we're going to see these engines move. I know it's probably all been seen with the other YouTubers who have already done it, but I ain't done it yet. <laughs> and it's part of the fun of building. It's just gonna be another stage, another step done. Right, so what we do is push that under there like so, and then gently just pull the wire through like that. Quick update on the Star Wars X-Wing as well, guys. Um, I keep telling you, it's going to be um, fresh build weekly soon last week I said a couple of months I did edit it and put on the video it's sooner than that it's issue 38 guys I think this week what you're going to be seeing tomorrow 
is 36. So you've got two more weeks after this issue and you're going to be having fresh builds every week. No more recaps, which I'm happy about. So I just thought I'd let you know there, guys, so you can tune into that. Right, so where are we going to put this now? See, we've done 37B there. Onto there, onto the gear, onto the motor, above the motor. And then what it's saying to do is push this down. It should just go over the engine motor. And if it don't go on easy, it's got to be the wrong way around. So if we turn that the other way. Make sure it's right first though guys before you push down on it. I think that's right. It's gotta be. Yeah, because you've got the two holes there and the two holes either side there. But always make sure I know that you you are looking probably thinking you couldn't have gone wrong there, but always make sure guys before you, you push on something in case God forbid you break or damage any parts, you don't want to be doing that. Right, so what it's saying do now is get four AP screws and connect 37B to the gearbox. Right, so let's get these screws out and then let's get this screwed together. But yeah, guys, if you're interested in watching fresh builds of the X-Wing, please feel free to subscribe you won't miss the thing then you'll know when everything's coming up any other videos are coming up um if you're interested in that guys and of course give us a big like would really appreciate that and other things on the channel take a look through my playlist guys there might be something you want to watch something you you don't know i'm even doing on the channel i mean there's a lot of random stuff on the channel and um, for example i've started to put elvis shorts up weekly on a Sunday usually which is a bit of a uh, memorabilia stuff especially if you're an Elvis fan which I know I've had a lot of subscribers through putting Elvis shorts up so for those guys who have subscribed for that I'm going to be putting like I say a short up every week and who knows randomly I might do a, a little vlog about um, I don't know if I get a record of vinyl of Elvis or something like that so yeah it's from that right up to riding z900 motorcycle rides there's a lot of stuff on the channel guys check it out just take a look through the playlist have a few minutes browsing through and then if anything takes your fancy and you want to watch it subscribe and like comment share would really appreciate that right that looks nice and tight now yeah that's not going anywhere it's nice and tight so that's that all done so we put that to one side for a second and then instruction three what it's saying do now is take the base 37c which is this part here again that's plastic thread the cable from the motor through the rectangle opening circle right this part here so what we're doing now is basically um we're going to turn that that way and the wires are going to be coming through that rectangle circle there Let's read the rest of the instruction first. Fit the base against the housing uh, so that the screws, the screw holes are aligned, fixed in place with AP screws. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll get this wire. That's a tight fit, but it does go through. Carefully feed that through that square rectangle hole. And what it's telling us to do is, as you can see, push that against there like that. And now we need to get four AP screws. If I just pull that out of the way a second so it's not in shot. Four AP screws in those four holes just inside there. I think we've got an AP screw here. What's run off? Can't get away from us. I'll just start those off light. Two out at the same time, which is cool. Guys, when I'm screwing them in, I tend to go zigzag across, if that makes sense. And then you evenly distribute the screws then. And get the third screw. Just 
make sure you get the screw in straight as well guys so you don't um, wreck the thread it's plastic so it shouldn't be a problem to be fair but you just don't want any any problems it's really simple so yeah it's nice and tight and that one's tight Yeah, if you're not already subscribed please smash that subscribe button big like at the end of the video comment and share would really appreciate that and i appreciate all the support you're giving me at the minute over the last year the subs are gradually going up the likes are going up and the comments are the comments as well so it's all good i'm happy right so that's that done do you know what i've said it before but this build is going to be huge the parts, what we're doing each week, uh, uh, get the size of them, yeah, it's so vast, guys. It's going to be ha absolutely massive when this build's done. Right, and that's it. Uh, it's got instruction four, take the shaft 37D, which is this part here. And I think it wants us to put it in the middle of this part. Let's have a look, fit the D-shaped end of the shaft into the center of the cog circled Right, so the yet to turn us to put it in, uh, puts in the middle, push firm into place of the cog on the right. Okay, so you can see in there, guys, it's like a D shaped cog, and you've got the D shaped end of this rod shaft, should I call it? So there we go, that's pushed firmly into place. And that is it guys, that is it for this week's issue, issue 37, subscribe, like, comment, share, I'll see you in the next one, see so, ya. Yeah, that is it for this week's build of the Titanic from Ashit Parkworks, I do hope you enjoyed it guys, basically it was just putting the motor into the transmission, um, it was a pretty quick video this week, next week I think will be even quicker. Um, as I said in the intro of this, we're having wires, USB cables, um, a circuit board. So I'm praying, I'm thinking, I'm hoping next week we might see the engines start to move. We might crank them up basically, fingers crossed. But yeah, there's more of that next week, guys. So this week was just about putting the motor in the gearbox, connecting the gearbox together. And that was it, moving the crank um, crankshaft to move it so we could get the motor into place. But that is it for this week, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big like. We'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Like, comment, share. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Peace.